I got you good, didn't I? You thought your audio wasn't working, but that was all me. <laughs> Anyways, my intros keep getting worse, but today we're gonna try the opposite OC challenge. What is this, you ask? Well, let's go through the video. For the opposite OC challenge, their eye color is whatever your least favorite color is. The skin color is the color of your least favorite food. If it's daytime where you are, make a night in your drawing. And if it's nighttime, make a day. If you prefer cold weather or hot weather, have your OC live in the opposite climate. And if you have short hair, give them long hair and vice versa. Okay, artists, let's see your character. Cool. Okay, so the first two prompts are the colors of the eyes and the skin. So I guess we should have a draft for the character down. So I'm gonna do a little sketch here real quick. <laughs> we'll see what we come up with. All right, there we go. We got a base for our character. And if you guys are wondering, Sam, this doesn't look like your usual uh, drawing style. It's a little bit more clean, a little bit more simple. Well, that's because it's not actually supposed to. I'm using this as an opportunity to study the simplicity of anime style. And I've got Princess Mononoke here as a reference. So if you start seeing a little bit of similarity there, that's where it's coming from. It's always good to inch a little bit out of your comfort zone every once in a while and try something that you're not entirely used to. Their eye color is whatever your least favorite color is. What is my least favorite color? One hour later. What is my least favorite color? There's a certain shade of green that I really don't like. It might be like, no, that's that green's okay. Okay, maybe something like this. I'm not a huge fan of this green. If you're a fan of green, I'm sorry. I, I've offended you and your whole family. Setting my sketch layer to multiply. I'm going to move this up and we're going to paint on the layer underneath it. Now, I usually don't like working in this order where we start coloring before we even figure out the appearance of the character through the sketch, but there's a TikTok challenge. This is what you got to do. All right, TikTok, what's next? What's next for me? The skin color is the color of your least favorite food. Least favorite food? Oh, maybe cats. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, I, I know what it is. There's this cucumber looking thing. I'll pull up a picture for you guys. It's called bitter melon or something it literally is bitter to eat and your parents force feed it to you as a young child when you're a chinese man decades of trauma flashing before my eyes but you know what guys there's another one that i really really don't like and this might come as a surprise to y'all and it's oysters one time i had it when i was a four-year-old wee lad and i threw up in the sink right after it went in my mouth so ever since then i've had oyster trauma so i'm wondering maybe i can combine the two together to create a unique skin tone for my character okay so we're gonna take that lime greenish color that's very bright very like <laughs> shrek we're drawing shrek oh dear lord we're gonna end up summoning kool-aid hey not bad not bad there's like a brownish rim on the outside of the oyster i'm looking at these images right now and i'm about to throw up i don't know do you think we can implement some of that in here as like a like a texture on the skin maybe like some striping that's pretty cool. TikTok gets me doing things that I never thought I'd ever do in my life, like drawing a character based on bitter melon and oysters. All right, so now that we have that, let's see what's next. When it's daytime where you are, make a night in your drawing. And if it's nighttime, make a day. It actually happens to be daytime where I am. So we have to make this nighttime. That means we're going to have a pretty dark lighting scenario here. How is that? <laughs> she, she looks like a glow in the dark turd. If you prefer cold weather or hot weather, have your OC live in the opposite climate. Me personally, I would rather be somewhere hot than somewhere cold. So we're going to have to make our OC adapted to the cold climate, which means uh, she's probably going to be wearing something heavy, I'm assuming. Let's see if we can give her a jacket or something like a fur jacket, but it's not going to cover up her green shoulders because I want to show those green shoulders. Seduction. All right, beautiful. TikTok, tell me what's next. If you have short hair, give them long hair and vice versa. Let's see your character. Oh, well, your character looks really good. Uh, mine looks... <laughs> you did such a normal looking character. Look at mine. This bitter melon oyster abomination. So I need to give her long hair, of course, because I have short hair. So this, this has got to be flowing down. And if you're a tiny art baby, you want to remember that when you're drawing hair onto your characters, you want to have a bit of distance between the uh, silhouette of the hair and the scalp because there's volume to hair. It's not just completely flat. And speaking of hair, we have a tutorial on that on Patreon for the month of May. So if you guys need help with hair, please check that out. This challenge doesn't say anything about the color of the hair. So I'm assuming it's just whatever I want it to be. Now, what looks good with green? Probably something a little bit more red. She looks like poison ivy. <laughs> Whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. Who knows, maybe her story is set thousands of years in the future when humanity has conquered planets in our solar system that are much colder than Earth and she's made adaptations. Maybe she's got green skin to help with the radiation of space. Or maybe it's from the radiation of space. She's mutated. Moment of truth, flip horizontal. Oh, Jesus Christ, uh, liquefy.
All right, so we've got our character design now, but you know what? We need to add a little bit of lighting. So I'm gonna set a multiply layer on top of what I've drawn. Uh, use a clipping mask for this layer. I'm just gonna get some nice shadow on our character here. I wanna give her a cool lighting scenario here. Maybe she's looking outside of the window of whatever planet she is on and she is hoping to go to Earth. Hmm, that's a cool story. Earth, the ancestral home of her people. I'm actually quite happy with this, you know, for a character that's based off of oysters and bitter melon, which are some of my least favorite things. Just a little bit of color variation here. Look at that, looking nice, looking nice. My objective here is to inspire you to pick up a pen and start drawing. Let's add some highlights. I'm gonna try adding some highlights to her skin, kind of uh, following the texture of, of oysters. The story that I have in my head now about this character is that she's like part of a offshoot civilization of humanity on a colder planet where there's a lot of radiation and people have changed over tens of thousands of years. But she wants to go back to Earth, even though she doesn't know if she can survive there. I like that story, actually. It's kind of a story of discovering who you are, right? Discovering your roots, finding out where you came from, right? Right. This challenge honestly didn't have too many requirements as for what to draw onto the character. So I'm just gonna add my own touches here and there to kind of flesh out the story of this character. I'm gonna give her some even more vibrant red on the hair here so you can see it almost looks like highlights. Oh, that looks, mm, that looks nice. Don't be afraid to compliment your own art, guys. Be your biggest hype man. If you see something, say something. Master Ugwe. 134 BC. All right, so for the most part, this is actually looking quite good. I, I'm surprised once again with how good these turn out. Let's give her some jewelry here. Yeah, gem thing on the top of her head, kind of like this. But you guys know what we're missing here? Can you guess? I'm gonna give you guys three seconds to guess, okay? Three to one, no, you didn't guess it. Uh, it's room light. I'm just gonna do a test run. How does that look? I think that's actually pretty good. That really sells the nighttime appearance. Almost, oh, oh no. Oh my God, I painted on the wrong layer. All right, so let's try that again. <laughs> we're gonna add some nice blue room light here, emulating the sort of light that you might see on a clear night where there's a full moon. Let's get an airbrush and use our soft light layer and add a little bit of bloom here to the lighting in the back. And then for the lighting at the front, let's add another, maybe hard light layer. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna just delete that. <laughs> All right, guys, so there's our character based off of this random TikTok art challenge, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So you know what? Why don't we take this one step further and let's try to design the full body cos <coughs> costume of this character. I'm dying. So I'm kind of playing around with like a triangular shape for the overall outfit of the character. From what I've observed from um, professional people who do character designs is uh, when they put down colors in a character design sheet kind of like this, they tend to not go too in depth in terms of their rendering. We're just gonna keep some flat colors on here so that you can get a sense of what the character's color scheme is supposed to look like. But other than that, we're gonna keep it really, really simple, like no shading, no nothing. So what I want to do is I want to make it look fuzzy, uh, almost like feathers so that it looks like it's warm, but I also want to give it a texture of roughness so that it almost looks like the shell of an oyster because obviously that was our influence and I want to kind of roll with it.
All right, there we go. So that should give us an idea on what her character design is supposed to look like. So if you do need to draw her in more different scenarios, well, you kind of have something to base it off of. Another successful TikTok art challenge completed. I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. I feel like the character that we've made could have a really cool backstory. There could be a cool world behind her. So there we go. That was Kit's character based on the challenge. And there's my character based on the challenge. I feel like we both did a pretty good job. So I hope now you feel inspired to pick up a pen and try this TikTok art challenge for yourself or try something different. Just draw, have fun, enjoy yourself while you're doing it, okay? That's all that matters. If you wanna see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Wow, good, 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 good. That's really nice. <gasps> Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that to you today. You know why? Because you look nice, you look fantastic. You look beautiful, you look fabulous. You, your incredible face, your incredible bone structure, all the work, the marvelous work that was put into chiseling out, you're a fantastic face. You deserve the world and I wish all the best upon you. Thanks. Anyways, that's it. That's, that's all I gotta say. Please get off of my lawn.